Hey guys, it's Caitlin from Caitlin and the Jazz Books and today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of really popular books slash series that I own but I have not yet read and I might do some I don't have but yeah, basically the gist of it is popular books that I have not read. I'm with the current read which is still Queen of Shadows by Sergio Mass but I have almost finished it now and the reasoning for not having read it is the fact that I had my physics ISA this week, which for those of you that don't know what that is, is 25% of my overall GCSE. Then I had my history controlled assessment yesterday, when I had to go to school for five hours on Saturday, I know. And then I have two plays going on at the minute, all my homework, all my schoolwork, but it is half term next week, so I will be catching up with reading then. But I do have a legitimate explanation to why I have not been reading. And it's not a slump anymore, it's school, so this still is my current read. How many weeks? Two weeks now? Yay! I'm just going to jump in with the one which we all know is going to come up and that is I have not finished Harry Potter yet but I do only have the last one left. So I, because I, I only have Deathly Hallows left, I feel like I can say that I've almost completed the series now and that makes me very happy because it's taken me 15 years to get to this point. Like, I don't understand it. But I'm very happy that I did read it, and for those of you that don't know what Harry Potter's about, it's about a boy named Harry who finds out that he's a wizard and he goes to live at Hogwarts, which is the best flipping school out there, and yeah, that's the gist of it. I hope you like my explaining skills, as you can tell I'm not good at explaining things, but this is the first really popular series which Caitlin has not read. Next I'm going to go in with all the Sergi Mass books which I have not yet finished. So I only have The Assassin's Blade and Empire of Storms, which I bought last week. So yeah, I do have to finish off Throne of Glass, and then I have Court of Mist and Fury to finish off, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Because after I finish this, I'm planning on reading some novellas. Who is messaging me? Then I'm going to finish reading my TBR for this month. Then I'm going to come in with this. Then I'm going to come in with this. And then I'm going to come in with this. Yeah, that's why right. I'm having a surgery math math and it may kill me inside, but I don't care. And this is probably, how many pages do you reckon that is? And that's just three books. It hurts me inside. But yeah, I'm going to finish these soon. But Sarah J Maths, she's just really popular and I have not finished them coming with the selection by Kira Cass, which I only have the first one of and I am planning on finishing this series. I'm very much so planning on finishing it. I think it sounds like a really cool concept and it sounds like a concept that I'd really like and I've heard that like the characters are really lovable and yeah and I just really want to read this. Like I've had this book for ages and it's tiny and I could read this in like a day but I'm just lazy and school. But again, I do want to read this. And from what I've got about it, it's about a girl called America. Yeah, America Singer, mm -hmm. who gets taken to like compete for the prince's heart in a way. And it's like a tournament. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm really great with submarines. But that's what I've got from the back. And the covers are gorgeous. And there was a new one that came out recently. When I say recently, it was probably like last year, so not that recently. But, you know, I need to finish this. So, you know. Maybe Christmas will come along and I'll get the whole series and then I'll read the whole series. Go me. And then the last one for the books that I own is Six of Crows by Leah Bardugo. And I got this not too long ago actually, I got this during summer and it has a little sign plate in it. Go me. Anyway, I have, because the second one, which I have the little preview of, Crook Kingdom just came out. So, I want to read Crook Kingdom, but I need to read this one first. So, I'm planning on reading this before the end of the year, then asking for this for Christmas, and then reading it when I get it. Does that make sense? Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not good with like explaining things either. But, oh well. It annoys me that there's so many that I haven't read. It's like, people are like, oh, have you read this? I'm like, no. <laughs> have you read this? No. Have you read Harry Potter? No. <laughs> actually got my Christmas list and I'm going to get the popular books which I'm asking for for Christmas and those ones are The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Mayer. Maya. I say Maya there so we're gonna go with Maya. Anyway so I've been wanting I asked for it for last I asked for the Lunar Chronicles last Christmas and I didn't get it 
and then I just haven't bought them because you know they're pretty lengthy and I was like do I want to carry that around with me to get home the answer was no so I'm going to ask for it for Christmas again and hopefully I'll get them and they are fairy tale retelling so Cinder being Cinderella um do I know the names Cinder no I don't know any of the other names there's Rapunzel I think I don't know I don't really know but one of them they're fairy tale retellings then I have A Dark of Shade of Magic by Victoria E. Schwab. And I have not actually read any of her books either, which is other ones, <laughs> which we can add to this. And I, she was at Yauk, so I've had seen a panel by her, and it made me really, really want to read her books. So I put this one on here, and I don't know what it's about. You see, this is what happens. I get mixed up between books. I think it's one book, and it's then it's not. So I'm not even going to try. But A Dark Shade of Magic by Victoria E. Schwab. Ow, that was my foot, if you could hear that, my foot. Anyway. <clears throat> so yeah, that's all the popular book series slash authors, in a way, like Sarah J. Maas, that I haven't read yet. And I own most of them. Which the sad thing is, is out of like the what, how many of those books that I said, I own most of them. I just haven't read them because I'm stupid but yeah I'll get round to them and that'll who knows how long it will take but it will come it will happen thank you so much for watching and Jasmine yep Jasmine will see you next week with whatever she's doing so see you next week don't forget to like you can comment and you can subscribe if you want to um yeah thanks for watching guys goodbye